All right, gamers, this is awesome, though. I want this as a, as a dope confess. I was literally watching the Kakarot DLC the other day. I was just watching as Bardock was getting destroyed in the <laughs> Jesus Supernova Nova, and I was like, this should be a dope confess for JP, and I'm, I'm glad they made him a dope confess, honestly. This, this video deserved to win. Hurry kind of sucks. Hurry is kind of bad. Let's go from him anyway, though, of course. But yes, we are back with another Dokken Battle video, of course. Got some new news for Frieza. We got some new stuff in here. Gonna go over it and talk about it pretty fast. Of course, we got a new Dodoria unit for the side unit. No Zorbon sale. Even cool there with a Zorbon and Dodoria. But it could be safe. It could, we could get like a Vegeta. We could get a Zorbon Dokken Fest for all we know. We could get. It. Honestly, the Zorbon and Dodoria, they do. They, they could. Well, they have a side unit. I feel like a joint side unit, though. So. I mean, yeah, they can get, get a Dokken Fest. I don't care. I don't think no one would care. I Man, I wouldn't care. Whatever. But yeah, they come out March 5th, of course. That's literally like in a few more days. So. And that's literally when the anniversary ends. So, yeah. So, yeah. I'll be in a few more weeks, so I'm happy about that, though. But yeah, of course, we got some brand new stuff in here. Of course, we got a brand new uh, free play unit right here. It's something you can get from like, a Dragon Ball Story event. And we got some Dragon Ball Story event as it's updated. So it seems like that Kid Goku might be getting an awakening. Because I think, when, October, I think? That's when October, S September, October. That's when we got 17 to 18. Then we got an update for the Kid Goku. We got his TUR. So we could, we could be getting his LR soon, probably in part two. Which will probably be like on Saturday on Saiyan Day. That's the next Dokken Fest for JP. This is like global or it has our like current Dokken Fest. They're, you could be getting Gohan and Vegeta and soon, so probably tonight, tomorrow, however you want to go with it. Um, the release about to leave soon, of course. Like I said, this is the last episode of Saiyan Day. 16th, that's what we get V Jump, and we're gonna probably see the Saiyan Day unit though, like last year. We saw God Goku and V Jump though, so they might not spoil it this time. Hopefully, they don't spoil it. Team Brock got a full EZA. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start and get over it. Let's go over it and everything. Of course, they get a tune for all the info. They give Doken Wiki for all the info, of course, with the translations. They're really good. Not really. I mean, we got the translations properly from them, though, of course, like just from the, from the Doken Wiki team, or if a singular person, we got the info for Frieza, we got the info for Dodoria, and um, for Team Bardock, we got the Team Bardock info, we got the new um, Bion um, unit from OG, like OG Dragon Ball, and um, we got like a general white, I think, card. I know we got another like um, River Ribbon Army card boss, so we assume we're getting another story of an update for that kid Goku. He probably it's gonna be probably gonna be a red ribbon army or like Goku in the snow, you know. Well, no, no, it might be like a Roshi or kid Goku, kid Corilla, Roshi, Goku, and Corilla card. So that might be getting updated soon. I mean, we got lots of in here anyway, though. So yeah, like I said, they get a tune for all the images and everything, of course, because I he actually cropped them and everything, so he properly did it. So yeah, let's go over um, let's go for, actually, let's see if we use it for last. Let's go into buy on unit. So he does um, Conquest of Fear, con uh, Conquest of Terror, uh, Terrifying Conquerors. Key 3 all sets up 50%. Uh, super Tech Effect greatly raises defense up for 3 turns, submits damage, high chance of stunning. Hmm. Okay. 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 For a free play unit? It doesn't feel like a free to play unit. It does not feel like a free to play unit at all. So yeah. His own key goes up by T yeah, two he get yeah, he gets key two, attack defense up two hundred and forty. Reduce di reduces damage received by fifty percent or fifty percent damage reduction. When attacking, attack increases up by two hundred and forty. During that turn, attack defense for enemies decreases by twenty four percent. I guess he's like getting the power of everybody on your rotation, so that makes sense. If there are seven or more Yeah, you yeah, if you get seven or more attacks during battle, if you're blocked, okay, yeah, you will block. Yeah, so basically, you'll still steal super attacks during the next turn from this character's um next turn damage reduction rate. Okay, so get he gets damage reduction up twenty percent. If the enemy is attacked ten or more times during battle, you will be stunned once the next turn. Okay, so he's a go. Okay, it's kind of a different unit though. If the character's fifty percent. Um, if the HP is fifty percent or higher, receives an attack, nullifies the air. Okay, I guess nullify is like stunning and um it is air bullet special move. Probably like the um no he um no I think it's it's a weapon based super attack. Yeah but, but yeah, weapon based super attack on himself. Okay, that's kinda weird though. So he's kinda like a Kyle Ken kind of unit, like not kinda get mechanic, but he gets himself key. He a lot of attack and defense, but he's also like, you know, from the rotation, you know, helping out not helping out but decreasing your allies, but he's getting stronger as a result though. This doesn't even feel like a free play unit, though. It feels like a side unit, honestly. If this is free play, this is insane. But, like I said, he's not going to liquid anything, though. Because I don't know his links. It's probably like Guys of the Dragon Ball, Incredible Adventure, 
mainly attack length, so, so it's gonna be sad for him, kind of, though. Alright, let's go into um, Dodoria next. Um, I'm gonna go over him. So he does Inhibit Deeds Key 3. I'll set to 130. Raid Attack Defensive for one turn. Speed Damage Hatch into Stunning. He does a lot. Holy crap. Key 2, Attack Defensive 150, plus additional Attack Defensive 100%. When performing a Super Attack, plus additional Attack up 10%, up to max of 50. A chance to perform a crit up 6%, up to max of 30%. With each attack performed in Human Deeds category, I'll get Key 2, Attack Defensive 50%. Uh, multi additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack for five turns after the start of the turn, plus an additional attack defense of 100% and a chance to perform a crit of 50%. Starting from the sixth turn, a launch additional, atta additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack with an ally on the team is Frieza if there's an ally who was attacking the same turn. It guards all attacks. Okay, so he had to have a Frieza pretty much. Which is not, isn't that hard though. You're gonna run with a Frieza anyway though, so. Yeah, I mean, good so far, honestly, though. Like I said, Link's, like I said, Link's categories won't save him too much, though. So, so that's, you gotta use him with a Frieza. So, sadly, outside of that, he might be a little useless, but he can do, he, I feel like he can do a lot on his own, basically. Uh, Brutal Beatdown, it looks a Brutal Beatdown, Coward, Frieza's Minions, Frieza's Army, Loyalty, Nightmare, Frieza's Battle. That's Zorba, that Frieza plays Zorba and Dodoria. Good Frieza plays Zorba alone, this guy. He got a pretty good stack team. Oh, not as much, though, but I mean, yeah, whatever. Link categories are Terrifying Conquerors and Human Deeds, Space Driving Warriors. So that's probably what they're gonna have. Okay, on the freezer, the big boy, the big dog confess. So let's go ahead and get him started. Bro. So he does play their destruction or space traveling warriors key three. I'll set to 170. That's good. We can get use another good leader for that. Plus additional I'll set yeah, plus additional um I'll set up 30% for inhuman deeds of terrifying conquerors. Of course, uh, super attack effect, raise attack, raise defense, raise attack infinitely, raise defense up for one turn, and this damage great lowers attack. I love that already. His passive holy crap activates an intro animation only once. Attack defense up 100 percent Lunge additional super attack, additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack for five turns, starting from the turn, from the start of turn, when there are two or more space traveling warrior category allies uh, on attacking, attack, attacking character second turn. Yeah, we're talking, yeah, space traveling warriors category allies at the start of the character attacking turn, which shouldn't be too hard. It was our Dora as your free play, again, you got a lot of options in there. Turn key three attack defense up two hundred and fifty. Actually, I should zoom this in a little bit. I didn't think about that actually. Well, actually, it kind of gets worse, but I mean, whatever. 250 plus additional attack defense of 150 when the in it, when attacking plus additional defense up to 20 percent and a chance to form a crit up 10 percent per um per terrifying conquerors category ally on the team plus additional attack up 100 percent on additional super attack starting the turn when this character was fifth attacking about he's like Buhan on crack. Plus additional help tip percent and it tends to perform a crit of 50% when there's a pure sand category enemy, which is the half of the game, so that's easy already. It is um and or and if there's a low cost warrior enemy, it's pretty much like I said, Bardock. You know, yeah, it's gonna be pure sand. You're good. Get a great enemy, large additional super attack. So of course it's passive. Um causes all his passive to attack, of course, when he destroys playing Vegeta. Causes ultimate damage to enemy, disables enemy's actions once when the destroy. Yeah, he's like Bohan, but just a uh, Give more attack, honestly, and more categories to put like Vados. Uh, can be activated when there's a low cost warrior category enemy. Can be activated if there's a pair of sand category enemy starting for the third turn, or from the start of battle, or it, or it can be activated starting for the fifth turn from the start of battle only once, which you're not gonna see. Pure sand though, starting from the third turn. Nah, I should've been pure sand or hybrid sand. Like turn one. Link so strongest warrior, strongest guy in space. You have multiple level link, freezes the army, threat for conquest, big bob bosses, fear and faith, fear's battle. Why I love that link set already with this. There's really just freeze the link, so honestly, but then this. So, yeah, freeze you have been actually haven't been that bad. Full part freeze this guy, Jadoria. Like I said, you got a cooler, you got a lot of good options on that team. So, for this film, was getting, again, the, there's a few good options on there. It, I mean, Golden Freeze up. So, yeah, again. Yeah. Okay, go to transformation boots, wake up bloodline, terrifying conquerors, inhuman deeds, sweat traveling warriors, gifted warriors, planetary destruction. Which I probably see a lot of people doing that though. So Frieza actually is pretty good. He's not too bad. Um, he does a lot though. But again, like Rose, he has like a lot of RNG. Like he supports himself, but also does a lot of other little things. Like gives himself key attack and fence. They're going hard for these units though. Careful of this guy. He's not too bad though. I like the way he's. Uh, well, he feels like a mess, but it's not too bad. Like I say, he, just, he feels like a, a mess. Like for the unit, it feels like they try stuff from like in a buffet, and this is what you get. But it's not too bad though. One, it's not bad, but like that category, that I just go category. Good luck. You're not seeing that planetary destruction at all. Ha <laughs> huh. But you're not seeing that at all. So good luck with that. Uh, for five turns, it's like good luck. Well, six or seven turns, the fight's almost over. So 
unless you're stalling out, which you shouldn't be stalling out on hard fights anyway. You're just gonna get you're gonna get destroyed. I'm telling you that now. You're gonna get destroyed. So I'm just saying. Those all though. But this goes actually pretty decent. Passive, the active, like I said, the conditions, eh, but the ultimate damage saving and disables I mean, his actions. That's good. That's really good. I like that though. I do like I say he does support himself though, but like you know, after a certain amount of turns, you know, he just he keeps evolving and going and going and going. So I think once you start to get him going and going, he's good though. But he take, I feel like he takes a little bit to rev up though for Frieza. In general, though, I'm saying in general though. But yeah, it's pretty much everything I want to kind of cover and go over for Frieza. I'm not like, oh my gosh, a Frieza Doken Fest. I'm glad he's a Doken Fest. He did deserve it. Uh, for what he can do and everything, like I said, he can support, like Vados, he can support uh, the categories, kinda. And of course, like I said, like Buhan, he can do a lot just from like him alone. But not too bad, of course, for this. Um, oh yeah, Team Bardock. Let me do theirs. Um, I didn't even think about that. So yeah, he, they do Team Bardock keep for us at the 130. The attack effect for their 12 key. Uh, great raise attack defense up for one turn. Um, you know, immense damage, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. And of course, there's 18 key, great raise attack defensive for one turn. Colossal damage um, to enemy. Increase attack defensive for super class allies by 30% for one turn. Am I really right? Huge damage? There's no way. Of uh, course, passive gives himself key. They give themselves key three. Attack defense up 100%. Increase attack up by 50%. We're doing a super attack. Okay, for everybody who's team Bardock, they get key one up to max of five. Attack defense up 20%, up to max of 100. That's not too bad. Again, like I said, there's mainly team Bardock support, so I don't really do I wasn't expecting too much craziness. But yeah, I think now you can actually fully rainbow them now, which took them forever. I think, just, like I said, I think they just forgot about this unit. Even though it's like, yeah, but yeah. This is a cat, if it's just an ally who has team Bardock category, attacking besides his character. Defense goes up by 50%. Additional, I think it's an additional super attack. Uh, allies get attack defense up 50%. Team Bardock get category, Team Bardock category allies get key one. Attack defense up 20%. So like I said, they're supporting Team Bardock. I don't even need to say anymore. I knew they're gonna do this anyway. Give them support for Team Bardock. Their Team Bardock support, etc., etc. They're actually not. They're, they're for a free play unit. What they can do if we run Team Bardock, that's good. Though, like I said, for free play events, for LR grinds, good. But like I said, you're not gonna see this unit anywhere else. Just Team Bardock on its like stuff. So. Or Pierce Saiyans on its like stuff. So. Good luck with that though, I guess. Um. But yeah, I mean, not too bad for Frieza and Dodoria's build, though. Not too bad, though. Frieza does a lot, though, I think, to rev up, but he could probably be good, like, turn one, turn two, honestly. Though. I feel like that's what he's got to really start racking up, though. But yeah, I think he's honestly pretty good. Not too bad. Not too bad. They did a pretty good job with him. Like I said, I feel like a lot of RNG, like Rose. I feel like they're doing for a lot of RNG, like, oh, they do so much, but, you know, you got to kind of wait a little bit, though. But I feel like turn one or two, the Frieza could probably start racking up and being good. Maybe by turn three, but like I said, turn one or two, let him cook a little bit, though. Let him season, let him, let him sizzle. I think he can be pretty good though. But that's pretty much everything I want to kind of cover and go with today though. So yeah, see you guys there though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Grab that follow button. Get them. Enjoy. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Go about all you've gone out. Put it on mats. Some toilet paper. Eat two guys. If you can, go outside. Some guys. Some copium. Show up my friends on Discord. So if you can wear it, guys are awesome. Wake up. Think about all the stuff though. Of course, like jaded. Um, but yeah, not too bad. I got really nothing else. I'll say, really got nothing else to say. It's he's decent. He's pretty good for what he can do. Better than those, all these units you know, from last year, honestly though. But. Let's say get to probably take him a little while to cook up a little bit though. But I think you do really I think you can do really, really good though. See you guys there though, can though. Peace out.